In this video we're going to look at auditing within Linux. Like Windows, Linux provides the capability to audit changes to files, authentication events, and lots of other items. And what we're going to use to do that within Ubuntu is the Audit D program. So just to make sure it's not already installed, we'll run dpackage with get selections and we'll grep audit D. We get nothing returned. If we run at cache search audit D, let's go and go ahead and just do the search for the package and give you a brief description of what it is. So now let's go ahead and install it. The install is pretty quick. And once the install is done, Audit D will start, as we can see right there, starting Audit Team and Audit D. And it comes with some pre configured auditing settings. But we're going to go ahead and add some to them. For example, we'll want to audit changes to a payroll file. So in the competition, if there is a requirement to audit a particular file or directory, you'd use a method similar to this. Now, before we get into that, let's look at the config file. So, like most things in Linux, it's in the Etsy directory, and the directory is audit. Now, when I try to go there, it's going to tell me permission denied, because I'm not a super user. So, since I'll be working in this directory, I want to use sudo and su to root. And now root can get into that directory without a problem. So here we see the audit dconf, the audit dot rules, and rules directory rules dot d. So let's look at the audit d dot conf. And this basically controls the daemon that's used. It doesn't do the rules. We're going to do the rules separately. And the rules are those items that tell the system what to audit. However, this is important because it has things like admin space left 50. And then admin space left action suspend. And disk full action suspend. So these are items in the configuration that basically tells it, okay, if I'm writing so many log file entries that I'm running out of space, go ahead, issue the suspend command here, because probably something's going wrong. So um, that's that's what that is there. So um, let's go ahead and do an AU report. AU report is one of the built-in commands that comes with Audit D that shows you basically a summary of everything in the audit log, all the events in the audit log. And let's go look at the audit log. Now, like most log files, it's going to be in the var log directory and this created a subdirectory called audit. And that's the file audit log. So if we look at that file, we can see it already has a number of items that it's recording. Here we can see it's recording some items when sudo was used, when su was used. And we're going to add some more items so we can see, see specific um, audit log entries that we want to see. Now if I run the AU report with the AU for authentication events, I guess it helps if I spell it right, it shows me the authentication report and this is it right here, log entries number 75, so this is when I use the SU command. That audit log entry number 75 and use another command, AU search, 
with the A to identify the, the entry 75 and this gives us some more information about it. So this is the full log entry on that one. Okay, so let's take a look at the example of where you're told you need to secure a file. When I say secure a file, audit any changes to a file. So we want to audit any changes, any writes to this file. So we're going to use the command audit ctl with the dash w and that's the watch. We're looking for home cyber patriot top secret payroll. We're going to tell it the items that we want to watch, the permissions that we want to watch are the write. Now we could have write, read, and attributes. We're just going to go with write. And we're going to give a keyword that helps us search the log file for any entries that match this audit. And we'll name this secret changes. Now if we use the AU search with the K for the keyword secret changes we'll already see there's one item in there but it's because we did a config change we did a config change adding in this rule with the key of secret changes so now let's go ahead and actually modify that file save it and close it clear the screen. Now if we run that you'll see we get multiple lines and here you can see user bin gedit. Okay so now if we run au report minus f for files we also have another way of seeing changes to the files. So here we can see home, server patriot, top secret, this is the system call, if it was successful or not, the program that did it, the executable, the um, in the event ID of 84. So if we do our AU search, minus A, 84, there it is as well. Okay. Now, one of the things you may see in here is the uh, UID of the user right there. Now user ID doesn't tell you exactly who that is you know just looking at it. So if you run get ent or basically get the entity and you're going to say for what type of file or what file and that's the password file and we enter 1000 it's going to tell us who that is. So get ent password and the user ID of 1000 and it comes back here Cyber Patriot. And finally let's take a look at um, getting a list of all the rules and then how we delete a rule. So if you remember we created a rule to watch this particular file. So if we run the audit ctl minus l for list it'll list all the rules Here's the rule that we put in. Remember, we were watching the Home Cyber Patriot Top Secret Payroll. We're watching it for any rights, and we assigned a key of secret changes. So, if we use a dash capital W, that's going to let us remove it. So, we have to put in pretty much everything that we had to create the rule. Again, a dash P for the permissions, it was a W, dash K, K for the key, and that was secret changes. And now if we run the dash L again, we can see that rule is gone. So no user defined rules exist. So in summary, in order to audit file changes and other system events in the system, we installed audit D we added a rule using the dash lowercase w 
to watch a certain file in a certain directory for any writes. Then we use the audit report, which is AU report, and the AU search to be able to look through the audit log files. And again, those are located in var log audit. And there's the file, audit log. The config files are located here in the Etsy audit. Those are the files. And again, most likely for scoring in Cyber Patriot would include the installation of Audit D and possibly the auditing of a particular directory or file, which we've gone through here. Hi, right, thank you.